And Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led in the spirit of the wilderness during 40 days being tempted of the devil. And he did eat nothing in those days. And when they were completed, he hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou art the Son of God, command this stone that it become bread. And Jesus answered unto him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. And he led him up and showed him all the kingdom of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, To thee will I go, to thee will I give all authority and glory of them, for he has delivered unto me, and to whosoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship before me, it shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said to him, it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thy serve. And he led him to Jerusalem, and set him in the pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou art the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee to guard thee. And their hands they shall bear thee up, lest haply thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus answered and said unto him, It is said that, yet, that thou shalt not make trial of the Lord by God. And when the devil had completed every temptation, he departed for him for a season. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And fame went out concerning him through all the region round about. And he taught in the synagogues, being glorified of all. And he come to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And he entered into his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet of Isaac. And he opened the book, and found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor, he has sent me to pro proclaim release to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set a liberty them that are bruised, to proclaim the accomplished year of the Lord. And he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down and the eyes of all the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, Today hath the scriptures been fulfilled in your ears, and all bear him witness and wondered at the words of grace which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, It is not Joseph's son. And he said unto them, Doubtless you will say unto me this parable, Physician, heal thyself, whosoever we have heard done at Capernaum, do also in thine own country. And he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, No prophet is acceptable in his own country. But of the truth I say unto you, There were many widows in Israel in the days of Eli, when the heavens were shut up three years and six months, when three came a great famine over the land. And unto none of them was Eli sent, but only Zapharoth in the land of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And there were many lepers in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, and none of them was cleansed but only Naaman and Syrian. And they were all filled with wrath in the synagogue. And they heard these things, and they rose up and cast forth out of the city, and led him up the bow of the hill whereon the city was built, that they might throw him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. And he came down to Capernaum, the city of Galilee. He was teaching them on the Sabbath day. And they were astonished at his teaching, for his word was with authority. And in his synagogue there was a man that had the spirit of an unclean demon. And he cried out with a loud voice, Oh, what have we to do with Jesus the Nazarene? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who art thou, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Holy the peace, and come out of him. 
And when the demon had thrown him down in the midst, he came out, having done him no hurt. And amazement came upon all that spake together, one with another, saying, What is this word? For with authority and power he commanded the unclean spirits, and they came out. And they went forth, rumor concerning him, into every place of the region round about. And he rose up from the synagogue and entered in the house of Simon. And Simon's wife's mother was holden with great fever, and they besought him for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she rose up and ministered unto them. And when the sun was setting, all that had any sick with diverse disease brought them unto him. He laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And the demons also came out from many, crying and saying, Thou art the Son of God, and rebuking them, he suffered them not to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. And when it was day, he came out and went in a desert place, and the multitude sought after him, and he came unto him and would have stayed him, that he should not go from them. But he said unto them, I must preach the good tidings of the kingdom of God to the other cities also, for therefore I was sent. And he was preaching in the synagogue of Galilee. This was the book of Luke chapter 2.